بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Your Excellency دكتور شيخة رنا بنت عيسى بن دعيج آل خليفة Secretary General of the Higher Education Council Deputy Chairperson of the Board of Trustees of the Higher Education Council Your Excellency's Distinguished Guests One day people on earth had a dream to reach the moon discover other planets in the space. Yet, it's not a dream anymore. We reach the moon, and others are thinking to live in different planets than Earth. I do remember when we were kids in our early days, which still we are, we used to look at the sky every night, counting the stars, and trying to catch them many times. Do you remember? Do you? Do you? <laughs> yes. Thank you. But now, however, it's truly happening. What I'm trying to imply here is that by putting all this together, the miracles that we were unable to obtain yesterday, it's no longer impossible today or in today's time. So, nothing is impossible. And remember, remember, you can still get the stars. How? We will know later. Good evening all, and you are all welcome in this unique, or we may call it a very special evening, where we add another success chapter in our education journey. Let's begin tonight's ceremony by a welcoming speech to be delivered by Professor Wahib Al-Khaja, Chairman of the Board of Trustees. السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Your Excellency دكتورة شيخة رنا بنت عيسى بنت الدعيج آل خليفة Secretary General of the Higher Education Council Deputy Chairperson of the Board of Trustees of the Higher Education Council Your Excellencies Distinguished Guests Colleagues Ladies and Gentlemen a very warm welcome to the QS Stars Rating Celebratory Evening. I would like to start my thanking Her Excellency Dr. Sheikh Rana bint Isa bint Daeej Al Khalifa for her continuous support and for the patronage of this event. As the Chairman of the Board of Trustees and founding president, it gives me a great pleasure to welcome you to this celebratory event jointly organized by Applied Science University and the QS to celebrate ASU's success in the QS star rating system. A very special welcome to Dr. Ashwin Fernandez, and many thanks for his support and presence. For a university which was established 18 years ago, we are very proud of our achievements in the QS ranking and ratings. The university has been enjoying many successes in the recent years because of the hard working and team spirit we created in the university. The recognition we are celebrating tonight will undoubtedly contribute to His Majesty the King's Vision 2030 to make the Kingdom of Bahrain a truly international knowledge hub. The wise leadership of our kingdom is enabling us to progress the university in the right direction. We are also guided by the excellent strategies of the Higher Education Council and BQA. Our journey has been full of continuous improvements and achievements which have made us a serious player on the international stage. 
Our staff, students, and alumni are our best assets, and we consider them as the best ambassadors. I would like to conclude by thanking Her Excellency, Dr. Sheikh Rana bint Isa bint Ija al Khalifa, for her patronage and to wish you a very enjoyable event. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor. The effort required to accomplish a quality education is far beyond working day and night routinely. To be more precise, it's the massive effort that requires a large amount of academic human capital, operating under a state of arts facilities, advanced curriculum, and a healthy system that is driven by a leader. Yes a leader who can shape a system and culture that fosters an extensive academic preparation to secure better and a brighter tomorrow. Professor Ghassan Awad, the president of Applied Science University, is invited on a stage. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ahala wa sahla fikum jami'an. Uh, Your Excellency, Dr. Sheikh Rana bin Isa bin Daesh Al Khalifa, Secretary General of the Higher Education Council, Deputy Chairperson of the Board of Trustees of the Higher Education Council, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, colleagues, students, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would like to welcome all of you to this celebratory event. Uh, Your Excellency, in part, with what celebrating tonight is because of your help and support and your leadership. There's no question about it. What you are doing is phenomenal, it's transformational. And we feel safe now, we feel so motivated to achieve even more because of your wise leadership, your big vision, your charisma and your personality. I'm really grateful for all your support. Now, of course, tonight we celebrate the QS star rating, and I don't really know how many stars we would have, we would find out later on. But at least, I would like to tell you about the, the QS uh, 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 stars rating, how it happened. Of course, there is a formula for it. There are various criteria. I'm sure my good friend, Dr. Ashwin Fernandez, will, will describe it more, maybe. But there are different parameters related to teaching, academic development, uh, employability, inclusiveness, uh, social responsibility, uh, environmental impact, and so on. And you get the stars per category, and then you get the overall uh, scoring uh, system. Uh, of course, what we have done so far is as well in part because of the big vision of Professor Wahib, the great support from the Board of Directors and Board of Trustees, from our colleagues, admin and academic who work really hard day and night to achieve what we have achieved. And uh, our students and, and alumni who are our best ambassadors, as Professor Wahib said. Uh, of course, we are the enablers to be in that position. Vision 2030 is so important for us. The excellent uh, higher education council strategies in terms of research and teaching and learning. Believe me, we have state-of-the-art uh, strategies. Your Excellency, Dr. Sheikh Rubna, the work you've done by the BQA in terms of program reviews and NQF is state-of-the-art. There's no question about it. You created quality for us, and now we can compete on world stage. We could achieve the quality assurance authority from the UK because of the, the good work you have done yourself by creating the capacity amongst all of us. Uh, of course, we have made big investment in this area. We have the commitment of everybody and the team spirit. Professor Wahib mentioned he created this culture of team spirit. We can be together, we will sail. If we don't work together, we will sink. But if you look at our achievements over the years and what we have done, uh, I have here, we still have four stars. Three, four years ago, we achieved four stars in the QS rating. We'll find out tonight, hopefully, what's our score. But when you look at our sustained performance in terms of the QS Arab region rankings over the last uh, five years, we started with 45, then 37, then 29, then 22, and this year for the QS Arab region ranking, 
2023, we are ranked 19. We are in the top 20 of Arab universities, considering that there are about 1,000 Arab universities. Very, very big achievement. If you look at the QS World University ranking, three years ago we were 651 to 700. The second year, 591 to 600. Last year, or the 2023 ranking, we are 561 to 570. There are 33,000 universities across the globe. That's correct, Dr. Ashwin, huh? 33,000 plus maybe. And to be in the top 570 for a university which is only 18 years old is a very, very big achievement. Uh, in terms of the QS as well, we are in the top 150 for universities under the age of 50. And we are in the ranking of 501 to 550 for graduate employability. And we are in 101 to 150 in the QS subject ranking for art and design. This is just for the QS. You can see we have focused our work on the QS. The great help and support from Dr. Ashwin Fernandez is our friend, is greatly appreciated, worked very hard, but your guidance, your mentoring has helped us immensely. We're grateful for that. But at the same time, because now I'm going to mention the Times Higher Education, I have to be friendly with Dr. Ashwin. In terms of the Times Higher Education impact ranking, we are ranked 201 to 300. Last year, we were 401 to 600, another major achievement. In the green metric ranking, we are 459. Last year, we were 484. So this sustained performance demonstrates our ability to compete at the world stage. There's no question about it. Our relationship with London South Bank University, we have plenty of colleagues tonight from London South Bank University, has helped us immensely as well to do a lot of research. We just hosted uh, a big conference under the Patrick Fair Excellency, and you have seen how many papers. We had 53 papers from 16 countries from across the globe. It shows the quality of work we are doing. If we look at our research now achievements, Eight years ago, I was looking at the data, I have it here, we had 42 publications eight years ago. Last year, we had 314 publications. 209 publications are in Scorpius Index journals. For a university which has 118 academic, so it's almost two uh, uh, Scorpius journal uh, index in per member of staff, per academic member of staff, which is, I think, is above uh, the word average, uh, for sure. So the number of uh, uh, master's completions, uh, five years ago we had 36 per year, last year we had 86. We have achieved the ISO certification, ISO 9001-2015 for administrative processes. We have achieved the ISO 21001-2018 for academic processes. We have two ISO certification. We have an ad advanced HE uh, accredited center. As you know, Your Excellency, you met yesterday Mr. Christian Rumble. I, I hope he's in the audience. And uh, Bahrain is number five in the world in terms of the number of uh, fellowships. Uh, at the university, we have 154 recognitions. In Bahrain, as a total, there's 650. So almost 25% comes from Applied Science University. Tomorrow we'll have a big celebration to recognize our colleagues who have worked so hard to achieve associate fellow, fellow, senior fellow, and uh, principal fellow. So you can see the sustained performance happening in, in all areas. And that's why we have managed to achieve really well in the QS ranking, in the Times Higher Education ranking, in the uh, green uh, Matrix. So uh, it's because of the team spirit, once again, the collective work we are doing, the excellent guidance from, from the HEC and the BQA. There's no question about it. We wouldn't have been able to achieve uh, what we have achieved. So I, I don't want to bore you with more numbers. I have them here, but I will keep it so we can have a brilliant uh, celebratory event. Once again, many thanks, Your Excellency, for your patronage, and many thanks, colleagues and distinguished guests, for attending this ceremony. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, Professor. After this, I think we all should be grateful and proud to be part of this educational institution, or as we are always saying, ASU family.
building a reputation or an image that reflects an endless academic achievements that also brings about the progress in improving the quality of higher education and thereby contribute to the economic, social, and cultural growth of the Kingdom of Bahrain while keeping our brand name and the top at the national level. This wouldn't be impossible without those. speechless sometime. <laughs> As we are about to announce and celebrate an accomplishment that did not happen for the first time, but it's different. Let me say this. Before any university being rated, it will be assessed based on nine criteria. Let's see now and begin the suspense. How is you being rated by stars on each criteria. As we said, nine criteria, and we'll start with teaching. Ace, you got on teaching. How many stars, Yusuf? We deserve. The second criteria is, ready? The second criteria is internationalization. And as you got on that criteria, guess. Give it a guess. stars again. <laughs> Moving to the third criteria, facilities. After the video, I think you should assume what is our rate. Let's go.
Don't be tired. <laughs> Next, moving to the social responsibility. And we got in social responsibility. Again and again, five stars. Continue? Continue? Good. Employability will be other criteria to be assessed on. Five stars again. A very important criteria. Academic development. Five stars. Next, business and management studies. Five, four, four, wait. <laughs> okay, wait, thank you. Five, four, four. Five, four, four. Five, four, four. Let's see. <laughs> Four stars. <laughs> that was a trick from me. <laughs> okay, moving now to the inclusiveness. Stars. Back to five stars. <laughs> and the last criteria is environmental impact. Please. Yes, yes, it's still good, still good. <laughs> okay. The 90 criteria is, I'm done with them. But I think, I think all of us now wants to know the overrate, overall rates. But I will call Dr. Ashwin Fernandez on stage to share with me this historical moment for Applied Science University. Good Thank evening, you. Doctor. Good evening. Uh, we're not going to say it now. Sure. Okay. We will not. <laughs> Actually, um, I have no doubt that most of you here now wanted to know the result. But, Doctor, what do you think if we record three years back when we announced together yes, yeah. the ASU rating system. What do you think? Yeah, we should, we should have a flashback. Then. I think so. Yes. And I think it's ready. You can play it, guys. <laughs> and teaching ASU being rated as stars. Let us all see our rating in employability. Again, five stars. ASU and interna internationalization got four stars. Next, next batch will be facilities. 
our rating in facilities is social responsibility will be our next batch where is you got five for four five for four the same Let's thing see. I did this time <laughs> five stars and the final one Inclusiveness, and we got in inclusiveness. Five stars again. What we agreed this afternoon with Mr. Ashwan is <laughs> keep with on me. the surprise till the last minute. But the surprise we mean or we meant the overall rating system as a stars, of course. Quick two words to add to this. All these categories have got minimum standards. And each of these categories, the maximum rating an institution can get is five stars. So around these rankings, these ratings, are not the goal. They are the outcome of what the institution is doing and you continue to do what you're good at and what you're doing and rankings and ratings will come in due course. So the overall rating for ASU is four, four stars. stars. What a memory, Dr. Ashwin. Indeed, indeed, absolutely. Yeah. Can we say something before we announce, or do we need to announce? I Shall think we? everybody's looking forward to seeing the final outcome. Yes. Shall we? Yeah, we should. So, absolutely. the overall? The overall rating for? ASU is one, two. Five, five stars. stars. <laughs> Here we go with the certificate, but I think Dr. Ashwani wanted to say something. Uh, we'll do the speech later? Or? As you like, the stage is yours. Okay. So, <laughs> so shall we? Or oh, the so we'll do the... The speech first? We'll do the speech yeah. first in this case. <sighs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Saadat Sheikha Rana bint Isa bin Dawaj al-Khalifa. Wa Saadat Professor Wahib al Kaja, Wa Saadat, Professor Ghassan Fuad Awad, Hadarati, uh, Asaidati, Wa Saada, Assalamu alaikum, Wa Ramatullahi, Wa Barakatu. Asada, Allahu, Masakum, Bikulli Khair. A very warm welcome, a very good evening for this celebratory evening. And I'm so pleased and happy to be here today to be part of the celebrations of Applied Science University Bahrain for the QS Stars achievement. A lot has changed in the last few years, but on this occasion, I would like to read out a proverb which I, which I really find interesting and so apt today. It reads as, An Najahu Laisa An Nihaya wa al fashalu laisa qatilan al muhim huwa al shajara hatu lil muwasalat excuse the arabic i'm still learning but in english dear friends 
In English, it says, success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is a courage to continue that counts. So on this occasion, where we've seen the stars from four to five over the last three years, the achievement of the university, the courage to continue to open up itself for external assessment, both in the Kingdom of Bahrain, the recent achievements of getting recognition in Saudi Arabia, the ranking journey, as Professor Ghassan mentioned, the stars from a four to five overall and from three to five in certain categories is really commendable. I would also like to pro provide another proverb in English this time, which says, don't climb a mountain with an intention that the world should see you. Climb the mountain with an intention to see the world. And that's exactly what Applied Science University has been doing by climbing not just so that everybody in Bahrain, the Arab region, and the world sees it, but for it to become an institution of excellence for its students, for its faculty, for their patrons, for everybody else associated with the university. I would like to go on and talk a lot about the ratings, but I'm sure you can get all this information online. The nine categories are a testimony to what the university is doing. I would like to award it eight stars from five. The three stars which I would like to add on are the three stars that make the university. Professor Wahib al Khaja, as the chairman of the Board of Trustees, the six star, Professor Ghassan Awad, the president, the sixth, the seventh star, and Professor Mohammed Yusuf, the vice president, the eighth star. So, but there are limitations to the QS star system, and I can only look at data which is in the framework to be assessed. But that doesn't stop us from having lifelong relations and friends. And I hope that the QS star's achievement today doesn't stop at the five stars. It should go on to the five stars plus which is the next category which I think the university should look at achieving after the next three years. So I would like to thank you all for listening to me. Uh, and uh, a final proverb to all of you who are, uh, who are here today, especially the faculty members which make the institution. The stars is not possible without everybody involved. And the proverb is, we are what we rep repeatedly do Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. So continue what you're doing, put the best in what the institution is supposed to do, keeping ASU at the front of everything. Thank you so very much. Shukran Jajilan. I need you, Dr. Ashwin, with me on stage. I think this is the time. I can submit to the certificate. Sure. Yes. Oh. Professor Wahib al Khaja, Professor Ghassan Awad are invited on the stage. Allow me, please. I would like also to call Dr. Muhammad Yusuf on the stage with us. I really wanted to wait for this moment to acknowledge the great support from Dr. Muhammad Yusuf, for the Vice President of the University, who leads all the work in the ranking, the ratings, QS times high agrimetrics. So I'm really grateful for your effort, Dr. Muhammad, and to the team who's supporting you. Congratulations. 
If you remember the beginning of the ceremony, I said something. I said, still we can get the stars. And this is exactly what I was meaning when we can get the stars. Thank you so much for everything. But this is not the end. We also would like to honor Her Excellency, Dr. Sheikh Rana, Bint Isa bin Adij Al Khalifa, on stage, please, Doctora. A token of appreciation dedicated to Her Excellency for her continuous support. <laughs> Thank you so much, Your Excellency. And yes, as you said, this achievement is not only for Applied Science University, this is for the Kingdom of Bahrain because any achievement is dedicated to our beloved Kingdom of Bahrain. Thank you all for being with us tonight. Thank you for being part of the celebration. And we hope ASU will continue on the road of excellence. Thank you so much. Enjoy your dinner.